Hello Libras, this is your You vs. Them reading for April 1st through April 15th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. Please show me past issues that Libra had with this connection. Please show me. Oh, okay. A lot of cards flying out there. I see the King of Swords here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Hmm. I feel that somebody was not trying to, you feel like somebody was not trying to work on this connection. Um, it, basically, I think not respecting your boundaries here. Okay. That maybe somebody you felt like wanted maybe just a sexual connection and, and not an authentic, um, secure, stable connection here. Okay, I'm going to put those back so we can grab one card. Please show me Libra's issues with a past relationship. Ace of Swords. You felt like it was lacking the honesty, the truth um, that you, you seek, you know, in a connection. You want things to be forthcoming, forthright, out in the open. It was lacking the transparency, I feel, that you guys are looking for. What was the other person's issues, past issues with this relationship? The King of Swords. Hmm, we see that card repeating itself here. Um, I, I feel that... You know, there was a lack of emotion. Okay. Um, feeling like it was basically a meeting of minds and not of um, the heart here. Look at that. As I say that, two of cups under the bottom of the deck. Okay. I'm feeling that, you know, there is love in this connection. I'm feeling there's like a lot of misunderstandings, miscommunication that has gone on here. What's keeping Libra from this person? What's keeping Libra from this person? The Seven of Swords. Mm. Feeling that somebody has done some um, something that you feel like wasn't right. I feel like, too, that you guys think that it's best um, to leave, to go your separate way. You're not really using your emotions to make this decision. This is all about um, logic and reasoning, doing what's best for you, strategizing, planning here. Okay? If they're not being truthful, it's like you're checking up the deuces here. Okay, could be another air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, individual that is significant to you guys here. <clears throat> What's keeping this person away from Libra? What's keeping this person away from Libra? The Four of Wands. You know, this person may be married. Um, it, it may be their living situation. Uh, it could be the fact that uh, this person does not feel happy and um, like this is a stable connection. Okay. There will be Aries energy there. Let's see if I can move this down some. <clears throat> What's currently going on for Libra? What's currently going on for Libra? The moon. There's a lot I feel like um, you guys are kind of keeping to yourselves. Um, a lot of deep emotions I think you're feeling. A lot that you're not revealing though. Okay. I feel that um, you have mood swings. You, you feel good one day and one day you don't. You feel good about a connection and the next day you don't. It's like you kind of go back and forth like the phases of the moon just changing, you know. For sure. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person? The hermit. This person's looking for the one. Okay. 
they're looking for who they belong with, who they feel like they can have a happy, stable home environment with. They're looking for their star. Mm hmm What's influencing Libra currently? Please show me what's influencing Libra. This person, I feel like, is isolating themselves. They're doing a lot of reflecting and thinking here in this situation. What's influencing Libra? The strength. I think, you know, right now you guys are really trying to do the right thing is what I'm feeling here. Um, you don't want to overthink a situation. You don't want to do something that you may regret. And I feel you guys really trying to, you know, face that devil energy, your fears, and do what you feel is the correct thing to do in this situation here. What's influencing the other person? The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't feel like this person really... There's something about their confidence, but I don't think it's their personal confidence. I think it's their confidence where you guys are concerned here with this Knight of Pentacles. And, you know, hmm. I'm feeling like this person, if there's a question of whether or not they're married or single I'm feeling like this person is married they function as a single person or either they want to be single or they need to be single for you guys they need to be confident as well secure in who they are and in themselves What's coming in for Libra? What's coming in for Libra? Justice. That's your card right there. Hmm. There's, there's something that you're trying to make a decision on here. You're trying to figure out what is the right thing to do again. Um, and you want what you deserve okay but you want to do what's best for everyone involved here and you kind of go back and forth about how you feel with that moon energy about what's right and what's not what should you do you know what shouldn't you do here I feel there's a struggle going on um, within you guys here let's see What's coming in for them? The Queen of Wands. I definitely see this person, you know, as a go-getter. As a go-getter. But, you know, more so than that, there's somebody that's turning their back on this situation and it could be that there's an Aries individual Aries Leo individual that's involved here as well that is leaving this situation okay there could be a third party influence but I feel that somebody is actually leaving this situation okay but I also see that um, this person probably likes to travel. Um, good looking individual for sure. Male or female with the Queen of Wands energy there. Maybe a Sag as well here. Okay. Let's see. What advice do we have for Libra? The Five of Cups. Hmm. 
there's an energy I feel that um, you guys need to leave behind. Um, I think there is maybe some overthinking in this situation because this is having regrets. This is feeling like, you know, there's no reconnect, no reconnection, um, that you may not find what it is that you're looking for. I think there are some negative emotions that you guys are experiencing. And I think you are basically talking yourselves out of something here. Okay. If this person is married and that is what is um, bothering you guys, if you didn't know it, um, all is not lost here. You know, you can't have regrets over something that you did not know, over what somebody hid from you. Okay. But knowing that there is, you know, uh, there are other opportunities out there for you. For love. Okay. What would be the advice for them? What would be the advice for them? The Ten of Cups. You know, I don't know if this, um, hmm. what I'm getting here is this person needs to choose the relationship that uh, fulfills them. Okay, choose one though. Choose one. We have the five to the ten of cups. It's like they can't have their cake and eat it too. They need to figure out what really makes them happy. And if there's a choice to be made, then the advice would be to make that choice. Or either be single. But can't have a marriage and a relationship. I mean, you can, but I mean, hey. There's not very many people that are um, going along with that. So, what is the outcome for Libra. What is the outcome for Libra? What is the outcome for Libra? The Ten of Cups. Look at that. Look at that. You know, I feel that this person really wants to be with you guys here. I don't know this situation. I feel like this person is definitely looking for the one. I think that maybe there was a situation here where um, somebody possibly is married or in a relationship. Okay. Wanting out of that relationship here with the Nine of Pentacles. So they can go towards what they really want and have the happiness that they want. And I see true happiness coming in for you guys okay <gasps> excuse me what's the outcome for them what's the outcome for them what's the outcome for them the knight of cups this person is truly smitten I feel with you guys I feel like they definitely will open up more um, they will make a very loving offer to you guys here. If they haven't already, I don't see um, any wands other than the Queen of Wands here. And this is somebody that's leaving, okay? I feel away from the Hermit because this person's kind of been isolating themselves, I feel. Okay. Alright guys, so we have Aquarius, Virgo, Aries... Pisces, Leo, Scorpio energy is here. Cancer is here, I feel. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.